Okay, I thought I'd give you a short update on my uh, my rover. <laughs> uh, here it is. And I've added some electronics. I'll give you a better view of that. Uh, but basically it's uh, some uh, H bridges. Uh, so I need six H bridges. And I have a uh, Arduino back here, Arduino Nano. And then uh, I don't like eating up a lot of uh, data pins on the Arduino. So once again, I've used a um, uh, two um, HC595 shift registers. So there's 16 bits. So three data lines. Uh, there's clock and data and then a latch signal to, to output. And uh, that's a little board that I built a, a while ago. So I use it as a building block. So it's got the two shift registers that so turns three lines into 16 lines. And uh, it also has a uh, display LEDs here. Um, I think I've got another one uh, in the board here that doesn't have the LEDs. It's just a shift, shift register. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to have the, uh, the LEDs on the, uh, on the rover. Um, so let me, uh, let me adjust the camera so you can see this a little better. Um, it uh, uses these motors, which six volts seems to be fine for them. Uh, so let me, uh, let me show you the uh, electronics a little closer. Okay. Once again, the Arduino Nano, the shift registers, and uh, the H bridges. I, I did a video on these H bridges before. And uh, there's a, uh, a connector here. Uh, there's a dual inline uh, connection here, so I can I can take the board out. Um, and the next thing I'll need to do is add. Uh, add a battery. Right now it doesn't have a battery. Um, I'll put the battery over here and maybe a charging circuit for it so I don't have to pull it in and out all the time. Um, it has a... Uh, turn it around here so it in all the way. It has a little uh, voltage regulator here. Uh, so the power comes in and uh, it gets uh, changed into 5 volts with this regulator. Um, for the nano and the shift registers, but the raw voltage, the six volt raw voltage, goes into the H bridge. So the motors are controlled off the raw power, and the circuitry runs off a regulated power here. And I've had to add a couple of capacitors here um, because the uh, current draw of the motors was spiking and resetting the microprocessor. So there's some. Uh, 220 microfarad capacitors here that uh, smooth things out. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see if it goes. All right, let me uh, reach down here, and flip the uh, switch on. So it went forward, then it turns. Moving forward, turns. And we'll go backwards and repeat. All right, so you get the idea. It is a, uh, it is working, and uh, I think I need to uh, add some other navigational aids, maybe some uh, distance measuring things. Um, I might want to add uh, um, wireless as well, maybe a camera, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, fun project.